Hi, welcome to Galloway Lights. We're in front of one of the hives that I gave Apis Biologics to in the winter. As you can see, I'm using a chicken feed bag as the inner cover. And the last time we were here, about a week or so ago, they had a queen. So let's take a look inside and see how they're doing. A little smoke just in case. Well, it looks like they got quite a few bees in there. Well, the outside frame looks kind of empty. So we're gonna use that as our access to get inside. And as you can see, I didn't have enough frames, so I used what I had. This first frame is quite heavy. Even though it's empty on one side, I think there's a lot of stuff on the other side. Let's take a look. Yep. Looks like there's a lot of pollen on the bottom. Not pollen, I mean uh, nectar around the edges. We have brood in the center. I guess they need more room, eh? Let's see what frame number three has to deal with. Well, we got wacky comb. Nothing in the uh, frame up there for brood or anything. And this side we got the brood. And I'm not sure if that is a queen cup or not. But it's huge. Oh, this is frame number four. Looks like we got the brood. You got some hatched out stuff. That's... Doesn't look like they got any eggs on the outside edges. Let's take a look at the other side. Yep, more hatched out brood. Let's take a look at number five. Number five frame. I am not sure. Are those queen cups? Looks to be. And we have eggs. And we have larvae of all various sizes. And it's all on the outside edges of this uh, freshly drawn foundation. And I'm going to say that's another queen cup. More eggs. More wacky comb. Let's take a look closer. Oh, well, here's one of the uh, queen cups. Let's take a look. Looks like it's dry. How about next door? we got two of them. That one looks dry. Well, they're getting ready. Well, so far this... Box of bees looks like they're ready to swarm. They want to. They want to get out of here. They look like they're running out of space. Let's take a look at number. What is this? Six. Oh yeah. They're filled up to the hilt. More queen cup. More foundation all drawn out. More eggs. More larvae. Let's take a look at the other side. Oh yeah. That is one huge sheet of brood. Almost wall to wall. This box started out as a split early in the spring. 
Then it was a nuke in a five frame or a deep box. And now it's a 10 frame box of bees filled to the max. And this frame seems to be stuck on the bottom. Some of these are being re reestablished. They got some more brood going in there. As they hatch out, I guess they fill them back up again. And we have some more queen cups. And down below we have some burr comb. And even the burr comb has eggs in it. Ready to roll. Even the one in the very top corner. Ah, even this side bird comb full of eggs. Wow. I wonder if this has eggs in it. Yep, it does. Even the bird comb's got eggs in it. Look at that. Got a little bit of nectar on the side there. And more eggs everywhere. Wow. Didn't have any space in my shed for more frames. So uh, I used what I had. I guess they need a box. And I have this slash on the side. That's to show that this box is a 45 degree high, meaning these corners are all cut on a 45 degree. I have six of them that I'm testing out this way. The question is, do the seams hold up better? Because they have no exposed end grain. This one looks like it's all stapled. I'm trying some with screws, I'm so, trying some with and without being glued, all to see how they hold up. And these frames are all homemade using trees, cut locally, and mirror foundation. And we're going to see how they're doing. This one has staples and it's glued. So we're going to see how this holds up to the weather and the elements. I do like the way it goes together. It's kind of simple. But the question is, will it hold up? We're going to see. Now, in order to pull the bees up, we're going to try some maneuvering of the frames. We're going to bring in some of this brood up here. So, oh, here's brood number one. And here's brood number two. And just for fun, we're gonna try squishing all these drawn out queen cells, just to see if that slows things down. I've heard it doesn't do a thing. Three frames of brood in the top box. That'll encourage them to come up. That'll space them out evenly. And the rest goes in the bottom. We're going to checkerboard it. And what the heck was that? Fur comb.
it's summertime. It's June. It's kind of warm out, so we should be able to get away with this. Thank, Thank you for, for watching, watching Gallery, Gallery Lights. Lights. Stay tuned for more videos on beekeeping and whatever else I video. Oh, and like and subscribe. Oh, and like and subscribe if you so wish. If you so wish.